how to set up a static IP to your Western digital MyCloud drive. Before we go further, we have to know what is the actual IP address of your NAS drive. For this, you can go on Fing, which is a free application you can find on iOS and Android. Okay. From there, you can scan on your network to find every device there is. And you look up for Western Digital MyCloud. Those one are my two NAS drive. Okay. You see the IP address right here? We're going to go for that one. 192.168.1.190. That 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 this is mine, not yours. Okay, so find out that WD My Cloud and go to the IP address written right there on your computer. Okay, from there you go on your web browser on your computer. Doesn't matter if it's a Mac or a PC. Usually the best choice is always Google Chrome. So that's the one I'm using right now, but you can use another one. That would be fine. So now we type in the address we just found. In my case, that was 192.168.1.190. Okay, then hit enter. This will prompt your NAS drive setting page. Okay, if it's the first time you access to it, they will ask you to create an account and some stuff like that. Easy stuff. Now, if you already done that before, well, just enter your username and password. From there, you see there's an arrow right there, the right one. Click on it and go in settings. In settings, go in network. Now we are interested in that network service. You see, actually it is on DHCP. DHCP stands for a dynamic host configuration protocol. That means the device let his IP address be assigned by the router. Okay, so what you see right here is an IP address assigned by the router. In my case, I have assigned that IP address to be static from the router. That's another way to do the things. If you want to know how to do it this way, actually on the upper right corner, there's a link to another video I did to show you how to do it. But now if we want to do it the other way, we just go right here on static and set the IP address we want. Okay. Now be careful. We can do mistakes here because it is outside of my DHCP server. Okay. This means that the router have a range of IP address to assign to devices. The address you choose most be outside of this range, because if you pick an address that doesn't have been assigned by the router, the router can assign this address to another device and you will have a conflict into your network between those two devices. You have to find the DHCP range into your router. If you don't know how to do it, I explain it in the same video that was linked before in the upper right corner. But if you want to have a great idea of what is your DHCP range on the application we see before, just pick a number which is really outside of the IP address you see. Okay. Every address will start the same. Most of the routers start with 192.168.1 or that zero, or some others start with 10.1.1 or 10.0.1, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Just be sure to change only the three last number, those one. Don't touch to those one, okay? Only that one. The number you can choose is between 2 and 253. Don't go higher, don't go lower. The subnet mask, don't touch to it. It mostly always 255.255.255.0, except if you're on a big network. The gateway IP address is your router IP address. Don't touch to it. it, must remain the same. And the DNS is also your router address. Don't touch to it, only change that one, okay? And when you do it, click next. Be sure all the information is right before to apply, okay? So now we just change it to a static IP. Yes, that's what we want. 
that's the IP address we want to have. Be sure that address is not used on your network and be sure it's outside of your DHCP server. Be sure that this address is your router address. Be sure that one is 255.255.255.0 and assure that this one is also your router address. Now, once you're sure, click apply. Setting an invalid IP address may cause the WD MyCloud to be inaccessible. Click save to continue. And now the NAS is updating his IP address. This may take up to a minute until the NAS reboot with his new IP address. Now you need to log in back. If you change the IP address, probably this won't show up. Okay, so in that case, you will have to enter the new IP address you switch. So if you pick 62, pick 62 and go to that page. But I didn't change my IP address. So I go back to the same address and I'm on that page. So I come back in, go on settings. And I see that my network is now static. That's it. So thank you for watching. I hope it helps. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya!